Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing your first week of April reading start from the 1st through the 7th of April 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. So let's see what is coming up for Leo's for this week time. I will be adding oracle cards in this reading but no charms will be added so stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest for personal readings. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So Leo's, uh, we will be taking uh, color cards and some general energy of your person card as well in this reading. We might take some cards as uh, what are they thinking of the current situation between the two of you as well. So stay tuned. So yeah, let's see what is happening for you in this week time. Start from the 1st through the 7th of April. Let's dive into the reading and let's find out. Leo's. Page of Pentacles. Three of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. I do see you worried around something. I do feel uh, that there is some, uh, some sense of, uh, you know, sadness that you have around a situation. Um... You are not happy with something in your life right now and you are like you know working towards like you know making things better you want the sadness to go you want this uh, uh stress to end you want this uh, situation to go where you are feeling unhappy sad um about something it can be something related to your work life home life situation but yes there is something which is definitely not so positive that you're feeling around uh, you know, uh, or feeling about in your life and you really want things to change. You really want some sort of uh, clarity to come around the situation, which is definitely making you feel bad and sad. Um, for some of you, you could be waiting for a message of somebody as well and, um, or some sort of communication coming from a person as well, because maybe, you know, you, you heavily depend on, you know, specific, uh, communication coming in. And you you want that communication to come in so things can change or go in the right direction. Things could come to, uh, you know, maybe maybe to have the clarity around the situation that you are dealing with right now. Maybe the communication is very much needed here. But yeah, let's see more cards here. Page of Cups, the Emperor, the Star, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, you might be dealing with somebody who is... Uh, not coming forward um you you are you are very hopeful around this person this situation this connection you feel that you know whoever it is that you are dealing with they feel the same for you but maybe they are not coming forward with their intention maybe they are not coming forward with what they want with you Maybe you feel that, you know, this person really have strong feelings and emotions like you do have for them, but then they are not coming forward. That's what you think of them. Um, you feel that this person is happy being the way they are, but this is something which is definitely not what you are liking here in this situation. You are unhappy because they are not taking right action towards you. You, for some reasons, could have uh, felt that maybe they are dealing with another person as well. You could have those kind of thoughts around it as well. But yes, you want some clarity. You want things to get unfolded to you. You want things to pace up. You want things to get clear for you so you could make decisions. Like I said earlier, I feel like you know there is something that you are working towards and you want to have the clear picture before you take any action or decision around this person, the situation that you want to leave behind. You want positive things to come forward. You want happiness to come forward. Now, to have that, I do see you waiting for some communication coming in. As and when you have the communication, you would start working towards it. If you have to leave this person, you would happily leave this person and move on. If you have to wait for this person, you will happily wait and wait for this person and, you know, try to do something else while you wait. You want that clarity if this person is interested in you or not. If they are not, you would let them be. If they are, you want them to take action. So that's what you are aiming for. I mean, today we do have this trend. Um, I feel like, you know, you, you really want that uh clarity to come in because you you are tired of the situation where you're, where you're trying to you know control your emotions and work on the things on your own you want things to be either mutual or you don't want things at all so let's see more cards here you are waiting for them to come forward express if they want you or they don't and um <clears throat> 
you want their non-serious attitude to go. That's what you're definitely aiming for. You don't want to deal with that any longer. You want something stable with them. If it happens, cool. If it doesn't, you know, come forward with anything stable, you are ready to move on. Um, let's see how this person is thinking of the situation right now with you. Because I feel like, you know, you are not happy with whatever that is happening. You want them to come forward. You want them to express. You want them to, you know, clear the air between the two of you. Uh, you want them to be stable enough and, you know, uh, mature enough to take the right decision forward. Let's see how do they see the situation right now. <clears throat> Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles. They know that you are their wish fulfillment. They know that you are, you know, what they what they want with their life. But at the same time, they are not coming forward. They are not ready to face that you are their wish fulfillment. They are not ready to face that, yes, you make them feel so good. Uh, they are holding themselves back. They are, you know, not coming forward. Um, they do have love and they do have solid plan of getting married to you as well. But at the same time, not right now. Why, 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 why? They cannot maintain healthy balance in their life right now. So maybe that's why they are running away from it. Um... <clears throat> I feel like, you know, your person is very, very uh, immature. You know, the way they are dealing with this whole situation, it's very immature. When it comes to you, it does bother you because you don't want to be in that zone waiting for them to come forward to express their love and feelings, which they are trying to run away from right now. Um... There is strong love, there is, you know, wish for the future as well with you and this connection coming from them. But at the same time, this person is holding themselves back. They, why do you, why do they do that? I can see a few things. They, one, they don't think that they can maintain healthy balance between work and life. Uh, work and love second I feel like you know this person is uh, fearful of commitment um, they feel that they are not prepared for it maybe they have other goals in their life to achieve as well so but having said that they let's see their overall energy first let's see how do they feel overall in their life like, you know, what is it that is happening for them there? Justice. Um, take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. I feel like, you know, they, they know they cannot do, do, they are not doing justice to you and the connection itself. But yes, they want to take right action forward. I feel like, you know, for some reasons, they feel that they will not be able to do justice to you if they commit to you right now. Why? Because they have other things going on in their life, which they need to give their attention to. Now, again, they kind of, you know, stay away from you or commitments right now because they feel that they will not be able to maybe come forward, commit to you, get married to you. That's why maybe they pull themselves away. But at the same time, this is something which uh, they are thinking about, but I don't see them taking any action in this week time for sure. So, but yeah, that's what they are feeling. That's what they have around this connection that they have with you. So let's see the oracle cards now. Let's see what the oracle guidance is. I am with you, giving you the courage to make life changes uh, that will help you work on your divine life purpose. I feel like, you know, the angels are going to help them to, through to make the decision right um you know around the situation now because it's something that they have to like you know they cannot run away from you know love life and situations work and love has to go hand in hand like you know you cannot be like you know loving a person and then do nothing at all like you know it, it is not something that you do like you know 100 percent you have to give your time and energy to work or 100 percent you have to give your time and energy to love you have to maintain a healthy balance that's that's how the life is like you know that's how it is or it should be 
So I feel like a new person is going to soon realize that. So let's see which color is going to be lucky for you during this time. You do have the jade. Take action. Number 32. Your person has to take action towards you. Um, spending some time in the, uh, you know, um, spending some time in the green is also going to help you a lot. Maybe you need to take some action forward to, to make this person understand that they have to take, you know, the right decision now. Otherwise, maybe you, you need to, you know, move on. So it's going to be different for different people. But I feel like, you know, your person is definitely like, you know, um, holding themselves back. They know that, that they love you. But at the same time, not taking right action forward. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, share and subscribe. And if you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. So yeah, till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care and bye-bye. <clears throat>